Hey, what is up guys? Stealth Bomber here, and as you see in that clip right there, I just got the cry later. And this was all from a method, which uh, here on the map is from the White Springs Golf Course. And there's lots of uh, XP you can get here, and lots of ghouls. So once you go into the uh, golf resort, you want to run inside and attract all the ghouls you possibly can. As you can see, they start following me. You keep running, you keep running, and you end up outside. There's, there's three. Seven, seven. You see shots from up here. At first, we thought it was full of the range. You see me head over to this uh, little uh, bush here, and I get on top of it to protect myself from the ghouls. It's kind of like a glitch and cheese spot to kill all the ghouls without taking any damage and, you know, keeping your ammo supply up as much as possible and getting the most XP you possibly can. This truck here is a good way if you can attract them towards the truck to get a bunch of kills at once, but of course you don't always have to do that. Instead, I here I pull out my hunting rifle and start picking them off one by one, which does take a minute, but you get 33 XP per kill, and there's probably around 20 or 30 zombies, so you do the math, and it's quite a bit of XP. After clearing most of them out, I would definitely suggest going back inside and looting the rest of the place. I got uh, the miscellaneous quest done, and I got tons of XP. I also pick up a really nice shotgun later on in this clip. I find a bunch of food, a bunch of stim packs and stuff like that, and even more kills, free kills like right there, and it was great. So this is my second playthrough of doing it, and uh, um, all you need to do is leave the world and just spawn back in. You run through the house again, the golf resort again, and you just attract all the ghouls, and then you run back outside and rinse and repeat and keep killing them, picking them off one by one from the glitch spot. Not really a glitch spot, but cheese spot to kill them all uh, pretty well. As I start picking them off one by one, I noticed a rare enemy spawning the Wendigo, and uh, so this drops a lot of good loot. This is where I got my cry later from. Later on in the clip, I end up killing it and killing the ghouls around it. I go down to check my loot after the ghouls scatter and I find uh, some really good weapons, the hair trigger shotgun and the cryolator. The cryolator is a uh, really rare weapon, it's the first time I've seen it and I got it from the Wendigo there and I also, there's another legendary ghoul in this mess that you can see a little bit here and there which I also get another legendary item from and yeah. This is also another little cheese spot if you stand up and then take a couple steps down they can attract to you and then you can take a couple steps back up and then shoot them and then keep going down and up so they can't shoot you and then you can also attract them back to where you're standing. This is also a really rare rifle I found doing this method from a legendary ghoul, the homemade nocturnal. It's just like an explosive AK-47. It's actually super amazing. And then this is me getting over to the legendary ghoul and picking up chameleon wood right arm, blend with the environment. It's pretty cool. And then I found another spot where you can where they can get attracted to you and then you can also not get hit. There I get hit a little bit, but I have to stay, take a couple steps back and they don't hit me anymore. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, XP farming method and the rare legendary uh, weapon method. And hope you guys enjoyed. So drop a like and subscribe and comment what you got. Peace.